Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Quake 3 up and running on your Raspberry Pi using a brand new Vulkan driver by Martin Thomas over on Twitter. He's got a full GitHub repository, and this driver actually allows you to run Quake 3 on your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus at over 100 FPS. And yes, we're using the Vulkan back end here. Unfortunately, this is not available for the Raspberry Pi 4. It only works for the Raspberry Pi Zero on up to the Raspberry Pi 3B+. But nonetheless, this is still amazing to see Vulkan running on a Raspberry Pi. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description, but in this video I wanted to show you how to set this up at least with his Quake 3 launcher. It's actually pretty simple to do, but I highly recommend reading through everything here. There's a readme on the GitHub. The implementation of this Vulkan driver is not conformant with the standard of Vulkan, so it can't officially be called a Vulkan driver, but he tried to follow it as closely as possible with what we have here on the Raspberry Pi. Like I mentioned, it only works with the older Pis from the Raspberry Pi Zero all the way up to the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up on your Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to need to get Quake 3 running with Vulkan on the Raspberry Pi is obviously Quake 3 game. I've just taken this from my Steam collection, and all we really need here is the base Q3 folder, all the pack files inside of here. I've just placed it on my desktop for easy access, and I transferred it over with a USB stick. Now we need to head over to GitHub and grab the RPI VK driver. This is version 1.0. It might be higher in the future. We're going to download the 7-zip here. Next thing we need to grab is the VK Quake 3 launcher. So we've just downloaded two files. We're going to head over to our download section. We have the RPI VK driver, the Vulkan driver. And we can extract it here, but unfortunately it's in 7-zip format, so we do need to install P7-zip to get this working. We're going to open up Terminal, and from within Terminal, we're just going to type in sudo apt git install p7-zip full. Y, enter, and let it install. This will allow us to extract 7-zip files on our Raspberry Pi. We've got that installed we can now extract the RPI VK driver. There's gonna be two folders in here, right click, extract here, or you can extract it anywhere you'd like. We have the RPI VK driver and the Vulkan loader. We're gonna to head to the RPI VK driver and we need to install this install.sh. We're gonna do that from terminal. So from within the folder, we have the install.sh in. Tools, open current folder in terminal. And we're just going to input sh.install.sh. It's now installed. And we can actually check if it worked correctly by heading over to our home Pi folder, view, show hidden files, RPI VK driver. So yes, it has installed properly. We're going to go back to our download section and we have the Vulkan loader we need to install. We need to get the install.sh installed. So we're going to go to Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, and we need to run this as root, but it's basically the same exact thing. sudo sh install.sh. We now have the Vulkan loader ready to go. We're almost done here, actually. We now need to deal with the VK Quake 3 launcher. Right click, extract here, and now we have the VK Quake 3 launcher here. And you can place this anywhere, but I personally like to place it in my home Pi directory. So go back over here, VK Quake 3, and inside of here you'll see we have the base Quake 3 folder, the IO Quake 3 launcher, and we also have the ARM SO right here. I'm going to open up the base Quake 3, and we're just going to place our Quake 3 files right in there from our base game. Just copy them right over, and I'm going to overwrite. So there we have it. Now we do want to pay attention to the directory here. So this is in HomePy VK Quake 3, and we're going to be launching the IO Quake 3 launcher. HomePy VK Quake 3, IO Quake 3. So there's one more step to do. Unfortunately, we cannot run this properly with the desktop up and running, so we will have to shut this down. We're going to open up terminal, sudo raspi config. From here, we want to go to Advanced Options, Memory Split, set this to 128, 
We'll go back to Advanced Options, GL Driver, and we need to change it to Full KMS. And finally, we're going to go to Boot Options, Desktop CLI, and we're going to run Console with Auto Login. So when we boot up, it's going to go to our console. We can always get back here by typing in sudo raspi config. But remember where you place this IO Quake 3 file. Home, Pi, VK Quake 3, IO Quake 3. That's how we're going to launch it from the console. So we're going to choose the console auto login, finish, and we're going to reboot. So we're now at console. Let's go ahead and launch that IO Quake 3 file. Home, Pi, VK Quake 3, IO Quake 3. Press enter. It's going to start it up for us. And here it is. It's going to prompt you for a CD key. Just click accept. We're going to go to setup, system, driver info. And as you can see, we're running that VK driver, the Vulcan driver with Quake 3 on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Just going to back up and start a quick game. I always go back here. Single player. Everything loads up pretty fast. The FPS will be listed in the top right hand corner. It's already set up right out of the box for that. Anarchy. And we're getting over 100 FPS. Sometimes I've seen it jump as high as 200 FPS. But this is definitely working amazingly. Now I have seen it dip down to around 60 every once in a while. I'm going to run a demo in a second. This is me playing with a keyboard and a mouse. And it's very touchy. I do need to adjust all of the parameters in the settings. You have taken the lead. But it's definitely fully playable. I'm going to head back to the main menu and just run a demo real quick. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're running Quake 3 here with a Vulcan driver on the Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the Raspberry Pi 4 yet. This works with the Raspberry Pi Zero all the way up to the 3B Plus, and that's about it. Hopefully, in the next few weeks, we see this ported over to the Raspberry Pi 4, because I'm sure we could get much better performance out of this. But it's pretty amazing to see Quake 3 running at over 100 FPS using the Vulcan driver on any Raspberry Pi. And before I get out of here, I just want to mention, if you ever want to go back to the desktop from the console, just type in sudo raspi config, head back to boot options, choose desktop with auto login, and reboot the system. That way, every time you boot the Raspberry Pi up, it'll bring you back to the desktop. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. And I want to give Martin Thomas a big shout out for doing this for us. He's definitely done an amazing job with his Vulcan driver and the Quake 3 launcher on the Raspberry Pi. It's only going to lead the way for more people to use this driver in other applications. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.